My name's Sonia. I'm one of the bowel cancer screening nurses. I work both here at Kings Mill Hospital and also at Nottingham City Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about the bowel cancer screening programme and what to expect from our service. You will have recently received a bowel cancer screening test kit through the post. The results of your test show something that needs further investigation and that's why you've been referred to us. Please try not to worry. The results of the test doesn't necessarily mean that you have cancer. Most people have a normal result. Hannah Morris. Hello there. My name's Sonia. I'm one of the bowel cancer screener nurses. Would you like to follow me through to clinic? OK, Hannah, would you like to explain to me why you're here today? Um, it's, I think it's to do with the, the test kits that I did for the bowel cancer screening programme. OK. Which and normal result. That's right, yes. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to explain to you exactly why you might have had an abnormal result mm -hmm. and then I'll explain to you what investigations we can offer you and you can ask me any questions at the end if that's okay. Yeah. But first of all I'd like to take a medical history from you. Yes, okay. So Hannah, there's lots of reasons why you could have had a positive test kit, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I asked you if you take any blood thinner medications because sometimes that can cause little bits of bleeding and that can show a positive result in the test kit. Um, some foods that we eat can also give us a positive test. So if you like a rare steak, if you like eating black pudding. So Hannah, as we've discussed, there could be any number of reasons why you've had a positive result. And the only way to find out for sure is to offer you the colonoscopy test if that's what you wanted. So most people will have had a normal colonoscopy and we might find polyps in some patients, okay. And unfortunately, one in 10 of our patients will have a cancer. The test we will be offering you is called a colonoscopy. This is a routine test to examine the lining of your bowel. When you go into the colonoscopy room, you'll be asked to lie on your left side on the trolley. We will monitor your heart rate, breathing and oxygen levels. This is done by a probe attached to your finger or earlobe. During the procedure, we will use a thin flexible tube called an endoscope, which has a camera at one end. This will be passed through your back passage and moved around the large bowel. A colonoscopy is a very safe procedure and should not be painful. It can, however, sometimes feel a bit uncomfortable this is because the doctor puts gas in your bowel to inflate it. Most patients won't need pain relief. We can offer gas and air throughout the procedure if you need it. If you wish, we can also give you a sedative in the form of an injection to make you feel more relaxed and comfortable. If you have the sedative, you will need a responsible adult to accompany you to take you home and to stay with you for at least 24 hours. The camera sends pictures of the insides of your colon to a monitor so the doctor can look for any abnormalities. You can watch the procedure if you wish. The test can take up to an hour. If you've not had sedation, you will be able to go straight home. If you have had sedation, you will need to stay in the department for about an hour to recover from the effects. In most cases, a member of staff will be able to tell you the initial results of the test. If you've had sedation, this can make you forget, so your escort will need to be present. A copy of the report will be given to you before you leave, and another will be sent to your GP. However, if you've had polyps removed or a biopsy taken, these results may take up to seven working days. The screening practitioner will contact you and arrange an appointment to discuss this. Anna, that's all finished now, OK? How are you feeling after the procedure? I'm OK, actually. It was better than I thought. I just feel a little bit windy, but I suppose that's normal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a ring in the morning, OK? okay. And we'll get you out into recovery now. Okay. You're a lovely. superstar, Anna. Thank you. I'm ready for the curtain. Oh, lovely. I'm ready for that. Bit for you. Oh, definitely. Are we ready? I bet you are. Please try not to worry. The results of the test doesn't necessarily mean that you have cancer. 
most people have a normal result.